Are you going to watch the House proceedings tomorrow? I'm not watching. I haven't. I'm not seen it. Look, it's a uh, hoax. The whole impeachment thing is a hoax. Uh, we look forward to getting on to the Senate. Uh, we're not entitled to lawyers. We're not entitled to witnesses. We're not entitled to anything in the House. It's a total sham. Uh, when you have a guy like Shifty Schiff go out and uh, make up a statement that I made, she, he said, this is what he said, but I never said it. He totally made it up. In Guatemala, they handle things much more different, much tougher than that. And because of immunity, has House immunity, because of immunity, he can't be prosecuted. He, he took a statement and totally made it up. It was a lie. It was a fraud. And you just can't do those things. So, you know, look, this has been a, uh, a total sham from the beginning. Everybody knows it. I've never seen the Republican Party so united. We got our last vote, as you know, we got 100 percent of the vote. Uh, I believe the Senate is equally as well united. I watched Mitch McConnell this morning. Uh, I watched uh, numerous people last night, uh, senators, and I think we're equally well united. They know it's a hoax, it's a witch hunt, and it's just a continuation. It's been going on now for almost three years. And it probably started before I even won the election, based on what we're finding out with the insurance policy quotes and other things. So it's a disgrace. Yes, Steve. Are you going to let Senator McConnell decide on witness? Yeah, he can decide. And we'll also have to decide on when we're taking the vote for the USMCA. A very big, a very important deal. A very, very important deal with Mexico, Canada, ourselves. Uh, we're going to have to decide whether or not that comes first or second. Uh, to me, I'd let the Senate decide on that. No, I don't take any uh, zero, uh, to put it mildly. Uh, they took a perfect phone call that I had with the president of Ukraine, an absolutely perfect call. You know it. They all know it. Uh, nothing was said wrong on that call. To impeach the president of the United States for that is a disgrace, and it's a, a mark in our country. And I'll tell you what, other presidents in the, in the future, unless they do something about this, other presidents are going to have to live with this and every time they do something that's a little bit unpopular, a little bit strong, even if they're 100 percent right, because I've done a great job. When you look at the kind of jobs we've created, when you look at the economy that we've created, when you look at rebuilding the military, taking care of the vets, you just take a look at what we've done with choice, veterans' choice, with accountability in the vets, uh, with what we've done to protect our Second Amendment and so many other things. Nobody's done as much as I've done in the first three years. Thank you all very much. Thank you.